guys, welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. I think I kind of uh, I like the look of. Go right there, maybe for the music. But basically, it's kind of factorial style, as far as I'm aware. Your goal is to use the entire solar system to build up the Dyson Spheres to power your home world. So you're talking on an intergalactic scale. Still a bit loud? Go right there. Let me know how that is now. It's hard here. Yeah, yeah. It's the problem with adjusting for new games, eh? Alright, let's jump in. Um, randomly generated seeds. 64 stars, resource multipliers 1. It's a black hole somewhere. There. Welcome to the actual universe. You may find it's different from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time, I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. The English is going to be a little off. And I can just see the audio spiking there as well, so bear with me a second. Everything here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland, starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. I do actually have control of this, but only in a very limited way. <laughs> we just need to go to this planet. Now you are about to reach the designated planet. Second this day. is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. You can use the arrow keys or right-click on the destination to control its movement. In this mission, you will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. Now try to recycle the space capsule. Right-click on it to recycle. what game I'm playing and all that good stuff. Cool. So, you knew who's was to move around. Or you can right click as he was saying. Obviously the standard controls of, you know, hold down the mouse wheel and so on. Uh, he wants to... You can see the progress bar underneath it. You can use the same operation to collect resources, such as trees, gravel, etc. In the meantime, hold down shift and right click to give a series of commands. You receive several items after recycling the space capsule.
click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to open the cabin to view them. Yeah, so we don't want to give them just an order there because there's 4,000 or is it 40,000 in there? 41,000 in that. So inventory, much stuff. You can hold down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Yet you have not unlocked the construction menu which will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Click the technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree and activate a research. I'm gonna grab some iron ore first. Hey, El Papi, how are you keeping it? This is Dyson Sphere program. We're just checking it out. Came out in early access today. Yeah, so let's pop in here. Yeah, it's very interesting concept because it's not just based on one planet or even one solar system. So I'm, I'm very intrigued to see where it goes. So this is going to take 10 of these magnetic coils. Um, but we can double click. Yeah, it's going to take... Alright. Oh, I could double click on that. Let's activate that. Yep, yeah, double click item to, use, to view recipe. It takes two magnets which are constructed out of iron ore and copper ingots. Obviously, out of copper, we have 10 of each, which is great because that's what we need. get them going. Yeah, so we have all that we need. Let's let that finish up. Go. So we've unlocked the wind turbine, Tesla tower, transmission facility, and then obviously the mining facility. Go. It tells us there that we can build five more of those. You have created a mining have. machine to achieve ore collecting automation. Pick it up from the inventory or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. <laughs> Wait, what? Ah. Here we have one. Great. So the background. In the future, human beings enter the ranks of advanced civilizations, the power science. Technology brings rapid development. We can use virtual reality to iterate space and time, create a virtual universe much larger in the real world, and gradually transfer human consciousness to the, to the virtual universe. I'm going to leave that up and then people can pause it if they want to and stuff. What is a Dyson Sphere? This is what we're basically going to be building. So the demand for energy is vast. So this is our job, is to build Dyson Spheres in multiple solar systems. I'm sure we'll get around to. And your basic... Here we go. Okay, so it works within the arc in front of it. Interesting. Was to move during flight, space, out, cool. All right. You can use the R key to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grit snapping, try holding down the shift key. I go like Okay, 
Okay, so we need power, obviously. And I think I'll just build this right here. Wind right. turbine. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. Cool. So we can build this. It takes a bunch of stuff. Now, can we look up? That's our inventory. That's the replicator. It's our mecha panel. I believe the mech itself has a bunch of upgrades that it can do. We have three drones at the moment. That seems to be recharging our energy here. Cool. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so here we go, yeah. So for this we need... Copper and iron ingots. Uh, let's just do the 11 of these. And we need copper ore. Yeah, we need to get a bit more copper ore. Copper? Yes, it is. All right, we'll start off slowly, but we'll get there. Same time, perfect. Reminds you of Project Five sites here. I have no idea what that is, man. Okay, so just double click there then to take that. Okay, cool. Sweet. So I wanna build Ten of them. Ten of them. Yeah, it builds the sub components as well, that's good. This stone, okay. Get a few bits of producing. Right, so for one of these we need, we're going to have all of that, that's perfect. We're going to be able to build, and currently build two. Currently build two, so let's build one of them. And we'll build one of them. Build one of them. Right, oh. That's the extent we can zoom out at the moment. Our energy is going down. If we stand in here, no. I was wondering if we stood in there, did it help with the uh, energy? It does not. So let's get that going. Yeah, 
very, very factorial in that. Perfecto. So we want to build more of these. Need more iron. Luckily. That. Right, we can build eight, so let's build eight. Seems very chill at the moment. I don't know if there's any like, enemies that come up later or anything like that. Um, transportation research. Ah, Therma. We're on a Mediterranean planet, which is actually a um, satellite of this gas joint. And this is our current solar system. So. First objective will be to get the Dyson Sphere working around this sun, I presume. And we want to go to all these planets and start getting resources together and get you know the advanced chains going and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I, I know, I think it could be fun. And it's still in early access, so obviously it's going to change. Ow. Basic operations we have. Uh, that's fine. We're gonna have to have to learn about because uh, I know there's I know there's conveyors in this. Wait, that fills up quickly. Uh, Tesla towers. How many of them do we have? Two. Build some more miners. And then build that. Pretty close to other wind turbine, that's perfect. Guess as long as they're connected. Assuming that we can go in here and do this, right? Yeah. Does that work left to right? Or does it work as first thing in? I kind of want to conserve them for the moment. Let's burn the fuel. Uh, the coal. Let's get one of these up. And one of these. Beautiful. You have done building the first power transmission facility, Tesla Tower. It can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the power supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. Let's move this a little bit. And we're not going to get them all. Let's just do that. We can double click and collect from any of these from a decent distance away, which is nice. They fill up pretty quickly. Yeah, they fill up nice and quick. Right, so let's do some research. Basic logistic system. Yes, we want this. Do that. Um, ten of them. We couldn't make ten. We need to get more copper. 
but we can make a bunch of you, so we will. Let's go set up copper mine. Yeah, just close the copper up here. So now we can build a bunch of them. It's going to give us this storage, which will be nice. Starter. Cool. We can put filters on it. Nice. Basic conveyors. start getting some stuff together. Yeah, there's our sun. Click, you can just single click on them. You have received the sorter and the conveyor belt, which can achieve full automation now. Use <laughs> the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine, and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. When putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point of it. In addition, use the up arrow key to lift up one level, and use the down arrow key to drop down one level after the conveyor belt is lifted. Press keypad 0 to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key. Interesting. And it gave us a bunch of stuff as well. Nice. Um, let's. Oh yeah, we can't build them because we don't have the stuff. So I need to get you to come in here and. Oh, I didn't build a bunch of these. Poor energy will deplete soon. There, as we now have a coal mine. Yeah, now it's getting to be factorial. For me, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to being on a planet doing that kind of stuff. Like it very much as planetary annihilation. Get those kind of vibes. You only have to single click these. To collect. You do have to be in a certain range. Which is all good. Now build a conveyor and a sorter. And a little uh, sorter can deliver cargo from conveyor belts to facilities. Um, 
It's confusing me. Oh, because I need to build it first, right? Gotcha. So that's not building, that's just placing. You need to build them separately. Sure, we'll say that that makes sense. And that can have conveyors coming into it from any side. That. You built a storage, which can be used to store cargo. You can manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo. You can manually store you the sorter. Stack the carrier. Okay, so this needs to go. The sorter is a transportation connector of cargoes between facilities. It will automatically transport them as long as the supply facility and the receiving facility are bridged. So this needs to come to here. Transport cargo from conveyor belts into facilities or between facilities. It's asking for a starting facility, so that would be there. Hold on, let's just try this. that do its thing. A little bit janky, but that just might be me. Yeah, get rid of that. Pop that over here instead. Two of these. Do that to here. And we want to sort her from there to there. Okay. We're getting there slowly. Do you need bunch of you. And we have sorters and we have storage. So let's get the very basics done. The 
very basic stuff. We'll do okay. UI is nice. UI is nice to clean, I think. Um, so what have we got there? More stone. Take all that. Let's go into research, because we need to progress. Limit storage. There's tanks and a water pump. Efficiency plasma control is interesting. Where is power tower, prisms, your magnetic drive, infernal motor? Okay. Yeah, we'll look at the upgrades in a minute. Advanced metallurgy. Or automatic metallurgy, sorry. Okay, so this is where we start our first tier of... Yeah, let's do that. And let's build 10 of them. Get that done and we'll get some smelters up and running. Whew. So this is the Mecha research. As far as I'm aware. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's cue that. Um, we don't have that yet. Let's max out our energy a bit more. Oh, that's a while down the line, okay. Interesting. There's a ton of stuff, like... Plus one construction drones. It's working away nicely. Right, solar collection. Wear modification. Titanium interstellar logistics. There we go, look. Logistic vessels. Interstellar logistics stations, that's gonna be cool. Drones going in our system. Solar sails. Launch a large amount of solar cells into orbit of the Dyson Swarm. Swarm. Dyson Swarm. Fusion generators. I'd say by the looks of it, then um, artificial star controlled annihilation reaction. Massive tech tree. That's cool. Okay, we can start. Yeah, let's queue that up. Let's queue this up too. Get all the basics going. Power. So that's basically a tech tier, really, isn't it? Yeah, man, at a galaxy level, yeah. So that's what I was saying. We're starting out with the very basic resources here. On this planet. And once we have enough, we should we'll be connecting this planet to the other planets in the system to get the rest of these uh, resources and eventually build a Dyson Sphere. Uh, as far as I'm aware, you build multiple Dyson Spheres. Oh, yeah, we haven't connected this yet, that's right. Can you? No, you can't reach from there to there. Okay. Let's 
So if we do this, it's even there, I would say. And then we do this, just about. So that's why I'm really interested in this game. Um, I think this is a game you can spend hours and days in. We all like those games. Glass. We can build glass. Let's build some glass. Why not? Yeah, we can also build some more of this. Get that going. And we'll go into buildings. Right, we only have one more wind turbine, so let's ten more. And we don't have any of you, so let's make ten of you. Assemblers, make ten of you. More of them. Let's get a bit of everything going, why not? So this is not very efficient and we won't worry about that because we're not going to be doing too much tonight. We'll probably start again. But we'll just get a few basic things going. I wonder if they're going to change any of this later, but like that's fine for what it is. For the scale they want to go to. That will serve its purpose. We don't need that. Perfecto. We actually have smelters. Let's do this. And pop that there. And we want... You built a smelter, which can smelt basic materials, such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically, while you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously. You need to use sorters and conveyor belts. Please select the recipe. That please. Julio. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. Okay. Um, but I need to build more of these. And I need to be able to expand that queue because I can't uh, just cancel everything. Oh, Biggie. Let that build and uh, we'll sort out it. the other smelters. goes into anything, but let's do that. Out of range. So, put that there. Alright, and it's... And now that I'm thinking about it, we don't have anything for that to build. We do here. That's 
that. research stuff. Electromagnetic matrix. Alright, cool. So you take two iron and one copper. So the oh, there it is yeah too close. That's what I wanted to check. Can I move that? I don't want to see statistics because it'll be terrible. So dismantle all of them because they're too close. Then we go to production. Be at least one away. Can't be overlapping. Here, go to here, go to there, go to there. And we want you making that. And we want you making that. storage from here. Yeah, we're not planning long term. Oh yeah, that's too close. Okay. Same situation. Storage, want to make it one block away. Simple as. Basics going. Let's make ten of them. What is this tar? What is this tar? Get next to the chairman. But yeah, you're just back. This is Dyson Sphere program. Um, walk around our mecha. We are tasked with mining resources, very much factorial style. But as I was saying, kind of planetary annihilation style planets. And we're going to want to get our resources going so that we can research with more advanced technologies that are going to allow us to travel to and transport materials to and from all the planets in this system until we can build up a Dyson Sphere around the star here and of course 
not just this there. No, dude, uh, this is not total annihilation, but uh, that's what I was thinking myself. It's very much in that style on the planets. And I'd say that's what it's based off of. But, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's very interesting to me. Set the number of slots that can be automatically pla placed in items. Other slots can only be manually placed. Okay. There we go, that's. Then going to our mech panel. I just do that, yes, I can. Control click will bring it all over. That's gonna restore our power. up nicely. Uh, we need to give you some storage. So let's place a sorter there into that. It will. Uh, no, as I was saying, the main goal is to build a Dyson Sphere. So we started researching a few bits here. But there is a full research tree. And as we're saying, like, you know, you have your local logistics stuff here. And then you get on to interplanetary logistics with drones. And interstellar logistics with ships. Hey, Graham. Hey, Keith, man. Yeah, it does look like uh, planetary annihilation with slightly better graphics. Get small carrier rockets. And I'll show you on the main menu in a little bit. Before we finish, you'll see there's a Dyson Sphere on the main menu. But you can create artificial stars and so on. And then obviously you get to the end goal. And on top of that, there's some upgrades as well that you can do. So what's next here? Move speed. I do want that. Another construction drone, that's going to be helpful. Yeah, and I've, the mech can fly. Double press space to lift off. Let me try that. <laughs> no, we can't do that yet. Let's grab a bunch of resources here. Right, we want to build you. We need glass. Glass. We need stone, but we can build a ton of it anyway, so let's do that. Let's get that going. How much glass do we need for you? Four. get the 16 and then we'll start working on these. It says 10. This one's going to build it itself, yeah. Cool. So that's going to build in the background. Gonna go too deep into it. No, you can anyway. I might do this tomorrow night. I had plans to do Tarkov tomorrow night, but I don't know, we might jump back into this. 
grab up a bunch of resources. I think we only have one miner down for each of these at the moment. So we're going to be scaling up a lot. Right. I'll pop that here. See what it is. Matrix Lab. You can use it to make super matrices or research technologies that require them to unlock. The super matrices are the source code of the center brain for maintaining the home world. You can upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible. You can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously. Okay, and we can load them in. Okay, no problem all. And let's just build them ourselves for now. And you need to be done from ore. Which means we can build a new fucking factory. Basically, the same way I can boost. Okay, yeah, so that's your pick two. Let's just scrap all that for a moment. And we need to build a few more of them. Get a few things going here. Yeah, our current layout is not made for expansion. Um, perfect. Doing okay here. Do, 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 do. We have the build. Brilliant. So, we want to build this... Here. Then we're gonna build a storage here. And we're gonna do you starting there, going for this. And that. Then that smelter is gonna make this. So what did you need again? Magnets. Pick them and throw them in there. One for one? Okay. One for one. I'll click over to this as well, that's good. Oh. Like the chill down music. I'll do for that. Now let's build more view. Of course, we'll automate this in the future. Ah, right. So, we want to do that here too. We want storage. Just do that one away there. Sorter coming from you to you. They could be offset, that's perfect. Go and research then. And uh, not upgrades. Yeah. 
Okay, so for research, I need to have them on my person. So we have 23 in our inventory, and we need 47 total. At least it gives you a nice idea of what you need. All that right there. Searching again here. Good upgrades. You're not going to take too much. Let's do that. Need 150 coal and 60 magnets. Definitely have the coal. And let's just keep building the magnets. We have the coal on us already. Um, you take in copper. They build in twos, that's nice as well. And we'll get more of you. research done. We'll jump into space. Hopefully. Yeah, what we need for that research. Limited resources as well. It may be 400,000, but it's still limited. Bear that in mind. Yeah, some nice numbers and all, but limited. Take a minute to research. Uh, we're doing okay on power. Keep it there. For inventory. Oh, right, yeah. Just see our power grid here. That's fine. All the stats. So we're underproducing on ore. We have a constant supply of copper. We're not consuming any of these. So get that auto save. Posture check and hydrate, yeah. Here's me leaning forward looking at the screen. <laughs> These those channel points or something, eh? Thanks everyone for hanging out guys. Um, I will be doing these kind of later streams, well, later for me. More often, hopefully. Possibly taking an extra night off during the week, but doing longer streams when I am streaming. Good for everyone, I think. Alright, 
We'll go for a jaunt in space here in a minute. Check that out. Definitely a lot of potential with this one, though. I kind of like that they haven't gone overboard on the animations. Um, take a couple of stacks of that. Tonight, I'm not going to stay on too much longer, probably another 10-15 minutes, but in general, I'm hoping to do four to five hour streams, opposed to my previous two hour streams. Right, you can now fly. You have received the ability to fly. Double click the space key to lift off and then use the arrow keys to control mecha movement. The moving speed will increase by 150% with more energy consumed under flight mode. Pressing the alt key can return the mecha to the ground during the flight. Ah, but I can't. Okay. useful. <laughs> just smack onto the ground. Um, so let me look at this. Orbit planet. that. Oh, able to view the veins distribution on the planet. Reserves on the whole planetary system. Did six light years. Okay, cool. Yeah, I won't be going super long tonight. Um, but over the next week or two, we'll be doing longer streams than that. Uh, veins utilization, that's a... Not ready for yet. Cool. That you have unlocked the universe exploration. Now you can click the details display button in the lower right corner of the screen to open real-time distribution details of the ore veins. Ah, there it is. Okay, cool. So now we know what's around us. Stone up there, stone over there. More coal over there. Crude oil. <laughs> Appreciate that, girl. how we can get out though. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of what I was finding is um, by the time I was ending my streams there was a couple of people that would be regulars would only be in for 15-20 minutes so I'd like to do you know longer I know that on the YouTube side of things, like half the people that watch the videos on YouTube are in the States. But it would be nice to be able to get them involved in the, the vibe side of things as well, if they wanted to. 
And the whole point of the channel is to get people involved. And let's see. Got more of these. Six PM in the East Coast, yeah. Let's think it's eleven PM here. I'll be out of work at 7 a.m. So actually work has to come first. Oh. Um I might do in the future, but start streaming at 7 a.m. Man, if if I was doing streaming full time, that'd be awesome, but unfortunately I don't. So let's see how this works, right? So this presumably needs to be conveyor belt out here. And let's bring it down to here. No, I'm not. I'm very much more of a streamer than a YouTuber. The YouTube is basically the VODs. And I just thought it'd be good for people to be able to see them if they missed the streams or catch up or whatever. Uh, what do I do for real? I'm a coordinator in a community healthcare company. So, very busy lately. Alright, we got copper coming out there. And what else does that need? Just iron. Cool. Uh yeah, it, it's it can be pretty stressful. But I haven't been streaming too much in the last couple of weeks. Or in the last week or so. Let me see. Can I Oh man, you went out once and still got it. I suppose in a way you're better to have it. <laughs> Not at all, Star Jackal. Don't worry about any of that, man. I'll survive. Um, let me see. So I'm thinking if I do a storage here, right? No, do you know what? No, 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 I won't do that, I won't do that. Do this properly. That there. Yeah, yeah, no power, that's fine. Uh, but that there. And we're going to do... No, do you know what? No, we can do this. I'm thinking we can do this. I could be completely wrong, but I'm thinking we can do this. No. You can now click the planet thumbnail button in the lower left corner of the screen, or press the M key to try the planet view mode. Oh. In the planet view mode, you can hold down the middle mouse button drag, rotate the angle of view, and hold down the right mouse button, drag to roll the angle of view, press N key to point to the front to the North Pole. In the planet view mode, slide the mouse wheel to enter the star map mode. Yeah, we knew about that mode, that's okay. Um, that's an important question, I don't know what the third is on that part of the island, tear coffee. Um, mm -hmm. So I suppose tea would have been the big thing, but coffee over the last 10-15 years has had a big uh, surge. So 
everyone thinks of England as the tea drinkers, but uh, I, I would imagine pretty much the same in Ireland. Where did we pick up that? There's a lot happening in the background there that I'm missing. <laughs> right. So I want to build that anyway, right? And I'm going to build that there. And I want to build much more of you. Uh, we have storage, so that's fine. We have the bear belt there. And then we want to do this here. Do boom, boom. And plates. You're really focused with six day cups tea. I am cutting down on my caffeine in a massive way. And we want to get you building. Majorly going on to water. Trying to get fit again. That. Put that in there. Get some extra belts there. I like it. They get the belts very simple. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Let's get that there as storage and then chat, we're doing it. That's gonna irk some people that they're off, but I don't care. Oh, you need power. You're not in there? Hold on a second. Plant flat for a second and pop it. There. There we go. The thing about the longer streams is I'd be awake watching TV anyway, or editing, or just crap, you know. So why not stream a bit longer, one or two minutes? All right, get some research going because we've been kind of slacking on that. That we need 50 of those things. 23 in our inventory. Yeah, that's why we have this production going. That takes copper. And those. Okay. Do you know what? I only heard of it yesterday. And I watched the video. I put it on the wish list yesterday. Or was it yesterday? And then I got the notification that it was out. So I said screw it, I'll buy it. It was like 15 quid. And uh, yeah. It seems very chilled. But it's the same with Factorio and Satisfactory. But the scale is something I'm very interested in. The scale is going to be interesting. To see if my computer can actually handle this. We shall see. <laughs> Stationers, I, I, I looked at that, I think. I have 14 games on my wish list at the moment. 
um, Falling Frontier is another one that I noticed. Um, God, where did I see it? I can't even remember where I saw the game. But that looks very interesting as well. Get me started on any new games though. <laughs> I need to finish the Star Sector and Rogue Tech campaigns. I'm gonna continue on Pathfinder as well. Really enjoying Pathfinder. Did I click about that many times? I don't think I did. Building again. What are we doing on coal? Well, not too bad on the coal. Get some more. Keep that going. You're constructed for that, that's fine. Okay, yeah, production production is not enough for the two of them. I see. I want to get another miner. They overlap on the same veins. So it's kind of like um, Factorio, Supreme Commander, Planetary Annihilation. All kind of rolled into one. So I'm going to go there, there, down to there. This side of things going, and then we want to go from here. There. Go. And now that's producing. Perfect. Very true. I like Factorio and I like Satisfactory. Uh, I got to the end game of Factorio once. Definitely was not efficient, but I got it. Done. 
Yeah, I left with 300 of those. Kinda awesome. So what I really should do is... That. That. Now I'm going to ask the game a question in a second. Kind of major question. Alright, so I want to bring that out to there and then we want to build one of you. Here. Producing these. Need the power on the other side, that's okay. Then we're going to get you to there. Pop this in here just because why not? A little bit short on power. All right, so that does work. Perfect. We can cross cross conveyors just with the uh, sorters. That's pretty nice. Uh, that said, I've seen people do mathematical papers on the satisfactory discard detailing exactly how to produce like eight items with zero wastage. It's, it's a little too hardcore. Yeah. I'm the kind of player I'd frustrate people because I'd be looking at this and saying. Well, that's full, so that's okay. Oh, I wouldn't go in and look at the numbers saying, okay, we're producing this amount per minute. No. So, I need more conveyors because we're going to do this. of the drones, I wonder. <laughs> yeah. Um, to make the magnetic thing of bobbers, we need copper plate. That's perfect. We can bring that down there. So we can bring the copper plates. Yeah, they have a decent range, but obviously they take a while to get there. But we need to do a sorter. The build range is good. I like that. You don't have to be two feet away from it. Let's do that. Are built queue, not too bad. Okay, yeah, we have all of this now.
Cool. And pop that there. Any power yet? Yep. So you get to there. You into there, and you are producing these dudes. And then we're doing. Sorters, we'll go ten. Mm. Do, 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 do. It'll take a second. This is how I normally start. I start by like making really small production areas and then tearing them apart completely to make actual functional ones. So you, there. And I also like that you can walk through everything. And then you, there, there. And you need power. supply coming in stuff and obviously then it gets more complicated when you get to the higher grade cores And there you go, there's the Dyson Sphere. That's your ultimate goal. Yeah, it's pretty cool, like, so if you can see that in game. I think that's the... We, we were looking at... Uh, See, this, this has been shot from that planet, as far as I'm aware. The music is a little bit of Final Fantasy VII to it. Yeah. Anyways, that's... That is Dyson Sphere Program. Early access. I'll probably throw this up as a let's give it a lash thing. But I think we'll be coming back to this. Maybe as a chill out game some evenings or maybe on a Sunday. And Pathfinder might move to during the week. 
once our current campaigns are finished. Well, appreciate everyone hanging out, guys. Yeah. Hopefully catch you around again soon.